All right, gang, Coach Dan back. The video I got for you today is going to be short and sweet, but hopefully productive and beneficial. We're going to talk ball position, where you're lining the ball up, how you're addressing the ball, where you're lining it up relative to your feet. There's two different, uh, yikes, I'm totally uh, having a brain fart here. There are two different components to ball position. There is how far you are standing away from the ball, but what we're going to start with is where is the ball forward versus backwards along the target line in your stance, okay? We've seen different things work for different golfers. Let me hit you with the system that I've seen that works for the most golfers, okay? So relative to where the ball is in your stance, for all our irons and wedges, everything off the ground for the most part, we want to start with the ball about a club head's width inside your front foot. That's my left foot, okay? And now your right foot is going to be the variable, okay? So for a real tiny little wedge shot, I might keep my right foot a club head's width behind the ball and my left foot a club head's width in front of the ball that keeps the ball in the middle of my stance okay and now simply put as the swings get longer and bigger my right foot's going to drop back so the longer club i'm using the faster i'm going to swing the more likely i'm going to shift towards the target and the more i want the ball towards the front of my stance to allow that club to kind of work around the arc give it time to square up to the ball on the target Okay, and for what it's worth, we see a lot of great tour players play like a seven iron somewhere underneath their left eye and ear. So what we know is a lot of, especially high speed players, tend to play that ball slightly forward of middle with like these middle-ish clubs, okay? Now, how far away should you stand from the ball? What I always like is like if you just take a hand, put the pinky of a hand on the back of the club, and your thumb should be able to kind of touch your belt buckle. Another way of looking at that would be you're just going to hinge at the hips just until you feel your hamstrings turn on and then let the arms hang straight down. That should get you to a similar point, okay? So ball position on the target line and ball position how far you're standing from it. Knock those two out and the game's gonna get a little easier.